Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about production issues. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, how can you, how can you stop pro breaking things in production and production issues from scarring you as a software engineer? Well, you have to be the sort of person who can fuck up brutally and be okay with it. That's where it what it comes down to. Do you feel comfortable enough with failing that you can move past it? That's not. There's not a lot of a whole lot of people who can do that uh, effectively. Like they have to have pretty like the skin of an elephant at the very least in order to do it without feeling anything. But there is a way for you. I mean, this is how I look at it at the very least. Uh, or this, <laughs> this is how far I have gotten uh, in in things. Uh, when I do something that I feel very bad over, uh, I feel very bad about, uh, and I fuck up really bad. Uh, depending on how bad the fuck up, I'm going to either f go and like think about it for a long, long time and feel really shitty about it, or I might have like an, a full-blown panic attack or something like that if it's really severe, like really, really bad. But the thing that I always keep with me is that uh, it's a face. It's always a face. It's always going to be a face. The fact that you feel bad will pass sooner or later, as long as there is like as long as you have a positive feedback cycle in other areas. In other words, if you break something in production, that sucks. But if you, on average, are not breaking things in production, the thing that usually gives you the negative spiral is when you feel like you're fucking up all the time. If that, I hope that that makes sense. Like, if you if you fuck up once or twice, or like every so, I mean every few months or whatever, and it's an, it 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 becomes less of a burden on you because it's a one-off thing. It's not the norm of how things feel. The constant sensation of feeling like a loser or something like that, or feeling like so less valuable, etc., etc. Is something that's the that's the thing that's going to get you when you have a negative feedback cycle. But if you have a bump in the road, uh, it it, should, it doesn't have the same lasting impact on you unless you're very very sensitive, which can of course be the case. There are people who have fairly severe neurosis and low self-esteem, etc., etc. And if we're going to talk, that's uh, way way out of my depth in order to fix these sorts of things the only thing that I've ever had that sort of made things work for me is that you have to have things that you feel good about that's basically what it comes down to you have to have redeeming things in your life that make you feel like yeah all things considered that's pretty good and I know that today is harder and it gets harder and harder to feel good about yourself because you're you're more or less being forcing yourself to be compare yourself with like everything from like if it's never been as difficult I argue as now to have high self esteem uh, if if we consider like you know, like how everything works with the internet and like the connectedness of our world or so forth like you're not competing with just people in your town anymore in terms of feeling like as you're doing pretty well you're competing with the whole the goddamn planet basically at the same time uh, so it's uh, it's pretty much just a mindset I would say that's gonna keep you from being scarred uh, and then repetition fuck up enough and until it stops feeling really bad uh, but I want to raise my finger and warn a little bit here as well the thicker skin doesn't happen if you go down the negative spiral path because then you're just gonna increase your sensitivity until you either give up or something really dark happens I've seen both happen which is uh, why I say that I'm way out of my depth here because I can't tell you what makes one person grow thicker skin from failure and from trying and exposure and another person to like completely collapse and dis uh, feel 
uh, get to the point of severe depression. Uh, it's a very difficult topic, I would say, but uh, my two cents on the matter, at the very least, is that the the red thread between the two is that you need to have something that makes you feel as if you have value and building that uh, personal strength and the person the the sensation of that you have value is key in order for things to not stick to you forever that's at least how i look at it so what i want you to take away from this is that uh, you can't really do much about fucking up in you're, you're gonna break production more than once I promise you many times and the reality is that there is nothing you can do about that you're never gonna be able to write perfect software you're never gonna be able to uh, like fix all the mistakes or like not make them etc etc and so the like you can mitigate things by getting good at software development and so forth. Uh, the mistakes that I used to make were a lot bigger than they are to, uh, these days. I'd like to think at the very least, but I still do make mistakes all the time. I can ship things uh, all the time. I could be small issues or bugs or mistakes, etc., etc. And it doesn't face me as much anymore because of what I said. Because I have gotten to a point where I have realized that it's inevitable to make these mistakes and it's not something that happens so frequently that I have a negative feedback cycle. I have an overall positive feedback cycle where I have more things that make my make me feel good about myself as opposed to things that weigh me down. I still have both just as anybody else but as long as I feel as if yeah overall things are going well and yeah that sucked a little bit but if I just let this let this sensation pass I'm gonna go back to just being happy because that's my default thanks to all the things that I've worked on in order to create a good general sensation and like uh, of, of myself and like confidence and build up a pretty decent life for myself have a great day